Hey, good morning. It's your boy Mark B with Eclipse Lawn Care. Check it out. We got a apartment complex we're gonna knock out in a residential. Now it is Labor Day. I wasn't supposed to work today, but I had to work today because tomorrow I gotta put my Dodge Ram in the shop again. And who knows how long that's gonna take. So I'm gonna try to see if I can't knock out. For sure I gotta knock out this one apartment. I'm subbing out my other apartment tomorrow and probably a couple of other couple of other residentials i'm gonna sub those out but i'm gonna try to do as much as i can today on labor day it is labor day means work day right means we gotta work i guess pretty much every day is labor day for us so i'm gonna knock out this apartment complex i'm gonna strap on the gopro to my chest um the other day i had i don't know who it was some tenant that lives here in the complex kind of giving me uh kind of came at me sideways he was accusing accusing me of breaking his windshield with when i when i was weed eating that wasn't true so he came at me last week to show me what i did the week before but the funny thing is i didn't work the week before my truck was in the shop that week so i didn't work that week so it wasn't me and where he parks and we'll see it i'm gonna we're gonna post up on the on the skag and when we get to that part you'll see that there's no way he said that i was weed eating and then all of a sudden i look towards where he was after i broke it we're gonna go ahead and get after it with this commercial property this is one of two of uh, one of three of my apartment complexes that I do. This is probably should be maybe a three person project or three person apartment, but I'm able to knock it out solo. It does take some time, lots of edging, lots of blowing because we still have we got to blow inside the breezeways and the courtyard inside, which does a lot of leaves do accumulate. <clears throat> But two's okay. Three is probably the right amount of people to get this done. With three, uh, three man crew, we're, we're able to get about uh, or knock this place out maybe like in 40 minutes, <clears throat> 30 minutes. But with one, it takes me about an hour and a half to two hours. So. But I was, uh, and well, I'll show you here in a little bit what I was talking about earlier about a man was accusing me of breaking his windshield, which there was no way, no how I would have broke his windshield. <clears throat> and this guy, I don't know, I think he's, looks like he's always out to, uh, find something wrong every time I come out because the funny thing is he's always watching this car whenever I start to mow start to blow right so every Monday I mow this property in the morning the same time same day when I'm driving around looking for a parking lot he's not out not washing his car but as soon as I start to mow the side of the parking lot where his car is usually is he'll go out and start washing or drying or you know he's doing something to his car and of course you know I'm respectable and I don't go near him if he's if he's doing his thing I stay away I'll mow another section or go to another section kind of be you know just be courteous and I usually wait till he finishes up right <clears throat> So I don't do anything on purpose to, you know, to disturb them. So, and this is almost, oh wow, it seems like it happens almost every other week or something. And that's cool. That's okay. You know, it's his prerogative. It's his time. He could, he could uh, do what he, whatever he needs to do. But the thing is, like, he's always staring me down, though. Every time, like, whenever he thinks that I'm going to get near him, he kind of just kind of gets up, 
props up and just kind of stares me down like okay don't come over here you see me I'm, I'm like bro I see you I'm not gonna go over there and uh, mess up your, your groove what you got going on and then there's another time where I would and you'll see it you'll see it here in a little 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 bit there's a small little dog park and I have to weed eat that area as well right <clears throat> Well, he was watching this car away from the dog park. So, like I mentioned, what I'll do if he's if he's in an area where I need to trim or mow, I skip it and go to another area. So he was watching this car this one morning, and instead of doing the the area where that's near the near his parking spot, I went over to the dog park. And I was, as I was walking towards the dog park, I started to weed eat. And what do you know? Instead, he, I didn't see him because you can't see, but he stops what he's doing and he walks towards the, to, towards the dog park and there's a fence and he squats down where I can't see him. And as soon as I start to weed eat right up against that fence, I didn't see him. He gets up like, hey, and he kind of gives me that look like, what are you doing? You know, like, kind of give, kind of mad dogs me like, like, bro, you see me walking over here to, to uh, weed eat this area. You were on the other side washing your car, you know, and then you're getting on to me because besides, I didn't even see you there. I didn't even see you squat there, which was funny. And I kind of gave him, I kind of, I shook my head and I was like, and I said, I'm sorry, of course, I apologize. And uh, I was like, that was just weird. That was the weirdest thing is you saw me with my weed eater going to service another area because I didn't want to service the area you were at. And as I was walking towards over there, I guess he was walking behind me. So I didn't see him, right? And of course, I got my headphones on. And as soon as I walked into the gate, he was already squatted down, which I didn't see him move, right? Because it, it was not even just, it was just a couple of second walk there, you know, 15 second walk, not even. And then I started weedy. When I got close to the fence line, that's whenever he jumped up and, you know, kind of gave me that look. He's like, hey. And I was like, okay, whatever. I was like, hey, my bad, I'm sorry. And like, that kind of, okay, that was, that was weird. So, you know, I let that go, whatever. And uh, I just continued doing my thing. But the following, I say not the next week. The next week is whenever he had accused me that I had broke it. But you know what? I didn't even do this property the, the week before because my truck was in the shop. <clears throat> but the following week, that's when uh, he came out. And I'll, and I'll explain it. It, it, there's no way it's just crazy that there's no way that a car that a rock is gonna jump up right it was just if it was gonna if a rock was gonna hit his car it would have either hit the uh, the bumper would have blocked it you see what I'm saying the door would have blocked it because <clears throat> he was parked right up against that edge but either way if I did have breaking something I would have known I would have known, and like I said, I have insurance. And you know, we've broken car window doors, you know, uh, house windows. I mean, it's just it's part of the business, right? That's why we have insurance and we pay for it. No big deal. But it was crazy because I, as I, I was, uh, as I was edging, he comes out of his house or his apartment or wherever he lives and. And then he'll, he just screams and goes, hey, come here. Like real, like, oh, okay. Like straight up came at me sideways, right? And I was like, oh no, bro. You, first of all, I was like, okay. I, I, you know, I keep my cool. I'm like, all right, like, well, what's going on? He goes, look, you broke, come here. And he pointed to his windshield. He goes, you broke my windshield yes, last week. And I was like, no, bro. I was like, no, I didn't. I, dude, I, I defended him. I was like, no, I didn't. I was like, he goes, yes, I saw you. I saw you 
are you sure? I go, was it me or somebody else? Was it one another employee? He goes, no, I saw you after you hit my windshield. He was standing in his balcony, and he he goes that whenever you hit my car, you looked over to where I was. I was like, okay. First, and then I asked him, I was like, can you tell me the day? He goes, it was last week, right? I was like, oh, okay. I was like, first of all, I'm calling you out. You're a liar. I didn't work last week, so it wasn't me. And there is no way that I, uh, you know, that I broke your window. And I told him, I was like, you better stop accusing me. Like, I had to talk to him like a little kid. Like, almost like, you know, how my, whenever my kids misbehave for their line, I kind of had to talk to them. Like, <laughs> it was, you know, I just had to, I mean, because uh, he was accusing me of something that I knew, that I know I, I didn't do. And I told him, and I, I even pointed, pointed at him. I was, I was like, first of all, don't you ever accuse me of something that I didn't do. If I did it, you would be the one to know. I would tell the manager, hey, I broke so-and-so's window, bro. Who is it? Whose car is it? Let me pay for it. And then he was like, no, you broke it. I was like, no, I didn't. I was like, don't accuse me of, of this when you know for sure that it wasn't me. No, I forgot. I'm, I'm paraphrasing. I was pissed off, so I was kind of... <laughs> I probably said a little bit different, a little bit more bolder than I, than I am now. But he kind of shut, but he shut up. Like, he stopped. And I told him, I was like, I'm going to talk to the manager and I'm going to tell him about you. I was like, don't you ever come to me. So, oh, that's right, because he came he came at me uh, with a real big attitude. Like, don't you ever come, come at me with that attitude again. If you got a problem with me, Go take it up with the manager. The manager's gonna know this about this. And I was I was a little more tense than what I'm talking, of course, right now. But but he after I started talking and and uh, calling him out, he didn't say nothing. He was uh, 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 and I walked away. And that's it. But it's crazy because ever since then. I haven't seen him because he's always outside. Every Monday when I show up, he comes out and he's just kind of staring me down. But I'm kind of glad that this happened because now he hasn't been coming out and uh, bothering me. I mean, he's, I don't know, I think he's just bored. Maybe he's just bored. I don't think, I don't know if he works or not. I mean, I, I've always seen him outside every, every time I, uh, every time I come in the morning, so, but, you know, sometimes you gotta call out, call out people's BS, and I'm really good at doing that. Usually when I call out somebody's BS, they kinda shut up. But either way, this uh, property, we're cutting it not too low there's some patches. I think I'm going to have to probably do some aeration on this lawn and do some more uh, seeding. I think the last time we did a overseeding and aeration was maybe two years ago, which did fill up a lot of the, the patches here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and order another service for this. Good money, but I'm going to wait till maybe October or so. This is the area right here, guys. So you see this car right here. This is the car the owner accused me of breaking the windshield. So I was not edging, but I was, uh, yes, I was, I was, I was edging at the time. So I was going to say I was mowing, but no, I was actually edging whenever he came out and kind of pointed me out, kind of screamed at me, of course, and told me to come and look at it. That's where the confrontation happened. And I don't know, he's just, I think he's just a bitter, bitter man. I think he just doesn't, uh, maybe he just doesn't have a good life, you know, like I said. But just because you have a bitter life or you're mad, um, you know, doesn't mean that 
that you could treat other people with disrespect, you know what I'm saying? And I think I was, I was pretty, I wasn't bad, I wasn't cussing at him, I wasn't being disrespectful, but I was holding my own, as, you know what I'm saying? Because he was talking, he was gone, he wanted to argue, but I called him out and I told him, don't you ever, uh, don't, don't be accusing me for something that you know I never did. And, uh, along those lines and that's it I walked away you know I mean I knew he wasn't going to do something I mean I, if he wanted to throw hands we'll throw hands but it ain't even worth it I ain't going to throw hands with somebody just because you know what I'm saying I mean, if I'm gonna defend myself, that's another thing, but I'm not gonna throw, I'm not gonna try to instigate a fight just because, you know what I'm saying? Just because somebody uh, came at me sideways. You gotta learn how to use verbal judo and get yourself out of situations that, you know, you don't need to be in. So, uh, you know, my business is worth more, my reputation is worth more than trying to, trying to prove, I guess, your, your ego or, I don't know, it's not worth it, but, yeah, well, that was it, <clears throat> like I said, the day that he accused me of breaking it, I didn't work this property that week at all you know it's crazy because I've had a couple of customers coming at me sideways and a lot of times don't waste your time arguing just leave get your equipment and leave them I've done that Let's see I want to say twice but I know one time for a fact when a customer this was a couple of years ago when I first started I uh, started arguing with one of my employees and uh, just being, you know, being rude. Just, I mean, it was, it was bad. Of course, my employee wasn't arguing back or nothing. But then I heard, but I heard the customer raising his voice and I, so of course I had to go over and stop what I was doing and go over there and see what was up. Then he started to kind of come at me, said, okay, this is the place real quick, guys. Look where that guy was hiding right behind there where I couldn't see him and whenever I started to edge um, weedy right there on that little area he he gets up and looks over like hey I'm like whoa I, I think he just he's just the bitter guy because he was he was on the other side washing or drying doing something to his car but which uh, sorry I digress Kind of wanted to point that out before I forget though. Alright guys, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.